some new door camera video to share with you of a shooting last night in D.C. And we do want to warn you, the images may be really difficult for some viewers. To see. Yeah, that gunfire rang out last night in Northeast D.C. It once again raising concerns about violence in the city. Take a look. You can hear several blasts there and earlier today city leaders talked about the work being done to address the spike in crime that we have seen. Our political and government reporter Leonard N. Fleming is live for us in the newsroom. And Leonard, good evening. As lawmakers look at potential solutions, so far not a whole lot seems to be working. Good evening, Chris and Susan. Council members say they want accountability when it comes to tracing guns and protecting business from rising violence. And according to police data, violent crime is up 40% and homicides are also up this year more than two decades. There has been 256 homicides and more than 900 carjackings, officials say. Illegal firearms have also been fueling the violence. The U.S. Attorney for D.C. met with council last week to seek solutions. Mayor Muriel Bowser and council members have each pitched crime legislation to stem the crisis. Councilmember Robert White says that people have a right to feel safe in the district. If people are arrested for committing crimes, but prosecutors can't prosecute, it doesn't matter what criminal laws we pass. And if we can't stem the rush of guns flowing into the city, we won't stop homicides. To make our city safer, consequences have to be consistent. We don't have a system that can accomplish that right now. It's unclear when any of these bills will get passed, but officials say that they're hoping that some sort of crime legislation will get passed by years. And reporting in the newsroom, Leonard and Fleming, DC News Now, back to you.